I'm wondering if anyone knows what a structure is. What do you think, Saya? A kind of playground and a big structure. And what, what is that big structure for? Like for playing. And for climbing, and it has, what, what are some of the parts of the structure on the playground? Like slide. It has a slide, yep. Yeah. Alice? Um, it has, um, like, it has, it, it has bridges too. It does have bridges, doesn't it? Yeah, it definitely does. And a little good structure and then a big good structure. Yeah, on both structures, you're right. Yes, Nico? Pretty much anything that you really like build, like a building is a structure, a bridge is a structure. Exactly. A school is a structure. A, the school is a structure. Yeah, Were you going to say that same thing? So what do you think when they say that a structure is strong? <coughs> Excuse me. What do you think it means to say, Evan, that a structure is strong? Like a structure is sturdy and stuff. What do you mean by sturdy? So it doesn't wobble around and stuff. Catherine, did you want to add something about what it means when a structure is strong? It means like it could, it could not stand up without toppling over when, when, you, when you put something on it. So it's strong. If it's strong, it won't topple over when you put something on it? Yes, Sam. Thank it's you for safe. waiting. Ah, it's safe. So one of the things that civil engineers have to think about is a force that might affect the building, the bridge, the dam. I'm wondering if anyone has an idea of what a force is. Think about some of the things you were talking about when you go on the climbing structure. So, what do you think? Stuff that like pulls it down, called gravity. Ah, gravity. So gravity is is gravity always here with us? Yeah. Yeah. So all the time on the building, on everything in the building, gravity is pulling on it. So a force could be something that is pulling on the structure. Think about the wind. It's such a force. So think about when the wind is blowing, like it is outside today. Yes, Alton. Instead of pulling like gravity, it's pushing. Ah, did you hear what um, Alton just said? What? Alton, could you say that again, please? It's pulling, and what gravity does is pull, and the wind is pushing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So a force is anything that either pulls or pushes on a structure. Think about a bridge. What kinds of forces are on a bridge? Um, when the so the bridge is like this, mm -hmm. and when it goes like it's coming down on it or something. So when the it's like what's it? The um, air. I mean that the, the force is going. Force from what? Force from the um like from the the, the piers. Yeah. What would the piers be doing? They, they would be holding it up. The bridge itself, is that any kind of a force? Yes. <laughs> not, not, not really. Mm -hmm. Well, kind of, because it's... Think about the bridge. Does the bridge weigh anything? Yeah. yeah. Is it heavy? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's and not, if the piers weren't there, what would happen to the bridge? It would just So isn't the bridge pushing oh. on yeah, pushing to the piers? The, yeah. Oh. So... Think about in our classroom, what are some things that are either pushing or pulling on our classroom, on the floor of our classroom? <laughs> Sam. The wall and us. Us, yes, we are definitely. The wall, how is the wall pushing or pulling? What is it, which is it doing? It's pushing down to the school stays in place. Oh, it's oh. pushing down. No, oh. no. It actually also keeps the roof up. Oh, so the wall's kind of like a what? It's pushing oh, in. Piers. Piers. It's kind of piers. Kind it's of also like a pier, pushing isn't it? up. Yeah, because it's, hol it's holding up our ceiling. We're going to do a couple of things, but the first thing that we're going to do, the first little activity we're going to do, your challenge is to try and make this index card stand up without bending it, folding it, or touching it. So we're going to try and see if you can do it. I it may be possible. I don't know. We're going to try it out and see. Zoe, what do you think? Can you use um your mouth to make um a force with when to keep it up? 
What an interesting thought. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, he was literally standing and then just fell over. Yeah. <laughs> you should try it this way, Daniel. It actually works. All right, let's see. This thing's impossible. No, it is not. Mine is. I can't do it. To make it slightly easier, you may use one finger no. to help it stand up. Look, it's easy, look. You can't hold it down to the table on the top. Do you know what I mean? Ah. Look at it. So, let's think for a minute. Was everybody able to, with one finger, make it stand up? So think about when you had your one finger and you were holding it up. Which way was the force? Was there a force pushing or pulling on the card? Pushing. pushing. What was pushing? Your finger. So you think your finger was pushing. What about the card? It was pushing. It was leaning against your finger. So if it was leaning against your finger, was it pushing? So I'm going to give you this. This is a little packet, and on here it says pushes and pulls on structures. And you're going to see this picture. I want you to think about where you would draw the arrows to show the pushing. You have all, you've already told me how your finger and your, and your index card were either pushing or pulling. Can you draw an arrow that shows which way the paper is pushing? Oh, it's pushing this way. Right, so you'd want to do it on this side so that it shows that it's... Oh, is that what you meant? That is. Oh, oh nice job. Oh, Excellent. Yeah, oh, people did a really nice job. What do you think would happen shh, if you have your index card and your finger leaning against it? What's going to happen if you push harder with your finger? It's going to fall over. Very interesting. We'll try it and see. Balance it on your fingertip again and then see what happens if you push with your finger. So, we are going to look at the way forces affect structures. I have two different structures that we are going to look at today. So we have a one-story structure. So does the structure look like it's stable? No. So, I have some weights here. Oh, it's oh. going to totally break. Oh, no. That yeah. looks heavy. That's going to totally break. All right, so I'm going to put one on. Shall I put it right in the middle? Yeah. yeah. No, it's going to fall. It's no. Wow. I knew it. Now put two more on the edge. But I knew it was going to take more than one. Okay. Two more on the edges. All right. I said it was right on top of the piers. Oh, right on top of the pier? Oh, it's going to balance. Yeah, it needs to be two in the middle. It needs to be two in the middle. Yeah. No, no. Then it'll fall in. Definitely. So where should I put the next one? I think it's right there, right there. Right here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because then it balances it more. Now, let's imagine that this is a building when and that this is the roof deck. Now, when we go up on the roof deck, are we only going to be going in the corners and one person is allowed to be right in the middle? No. No? no. So how many do we have so far? Nine. We have nine so far. Oh my gosh. No. Okay, so. Ten. Ten. Ten and it broke. So. So let's think. So what was the action? What happened with the roof? Ah, the roof caved in. Okay. The roof caved in because we put the, these weights on the top. So now, what's the problem? Washers. What is the problem with our structure? It's not sturdy enough. So it's not sturdy. And so what's our civil engineering solution going to be? Adriana, what was your thought? That we needed to put one? Pier in the middle. Yeah, pier in the middle. One pier in the middle.
So we got 20 on there. Our engineering solution was to put just one. Why did it work so well? Xavier, why did it work so well? It had um, more plus, um, yeah. force pushing up instead of down. Ah, it had more force pushing up than down. Our next structure is a tower. We are not going to use the weights on this. Are we going to use something heavier? We're going to use another kind of force. What? Zoe, so would you hand me that small fan, please? Oh. It's the wind! It's gonna be fun! What do you think will happen when I turn the fan on? It, it might it's gonna go down. down. Cool. Yeah, man, it's well, level. look at Alice's hand. Alice just thinks that it's gonna wave yeah. back and forth. You don't yeah. think it's gonna go all the way over? Wait, it might way. go all the way over. Where the boy is sticking to oh, the it table. Might go Even Will can it's do oh. it. Oh. Oh. Hi, hi, hi. hi. All right. So right. now, right. what is the force doing? What is the effect that it's having on our tower? Um, it's, it's pushing. It's pushing. Pushing. It's pushing. pushing it over. Pushing it over. Okay. So, how could we solve this problem? Like put more clay and pack yeah, it put really it, like, near in. the straws. I am and guessing tape. that that. You think tape in. would work? Okay. Ah, duct tape might duct work. Duct tape. Yeah. I have That's this. No, but the goal is not for it to blow all the way Correct. Down. The goal is for it not to blow at all. So how am I going to make it more stable with this piece of string? Tie. You think tying them together? <gasps> oh, or maybe, oh. That would Nico? Like taping it to the ground or something? <laughs> what do you think, Sam? Oh. Well, you could put one on each side, like corner on the straw, yeah. and then you put it down, so when you blow it, it tape it to the table. Oh yeah. And then when you blow it, it can only go a certain distance because it will probably just go against the string and it can't go anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, tape it to the table and do that on the other side of the other string. What happens if I just put one string on? Is it going to work? No, it's not no. going to work. If you blow it that way. But if I blow it the same direction, is it going to work? No, no. Let's try it. No, it's not. No it falling. It is. It tilts. So you it have tilts. to put another, you have it, to put another tighter string same. on the other side. So you have to make it super just, tight. You have to put it like all the way, like more like, like all the way it to the table. Yeah, yeah, that much. Yeah, yeah like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Same yeah. with the other string. Yeah, 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 that, like, that, like that, yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, like that. Perfect. Now we're gonna tilt. Yeah. It's going. It's just moving. You know what? I, everybody had some really, really great ideas. The problem was that it was tilting. So we used these two pieces of string to solve our problem, and it worked perfectly. I thought the lesson went great. It was really fun. The first structure, the one-story structure, was just, I think kids love to see when something doesn't work. And so the fact that you build the structure, put all the weights on top, and then it collapses. And I had already practiced the night before when I built them. The day before when I built them, I practiced with it just to make sure that it really would collapse. And then when I put the pier in the middle, it really would hold up. And they immediately thought of the pier in the middle. You know, I didn't have to coax them at all. And then when it worked, it was so exciting. One of the nice things about the um, binder and the lesson plans is that on the sides of the lessons they often have little teacher tips and one of the teacher tips was to make sure that the straws were loose in the clay that you had them sitting on on the table and I you know I set it all up and then I didn't want the kids to see it in the morning when they came in so I took it down and moved it away and then when I reset it up I thought I had loosened them up enough but I really hadn't so I think that for me, for that particular lesson, just making sure when you, re when you set it up a second time that it's really loose. And lesson two was a pretty detailed lesson. And so I did have the guide right there with me so that I could look and make sure that I was covering all of the important points. I think as with any lessons or any unit, the more you do it, the more you're going to get to know what you want to be asking and how you want to be asking it. And you might not need to follow the script, but I really tried to stick with the script for all four of the lessons because I feel like they're really good, very clear, 
They tell you what to say and they tell you what to expect for an answer, which is really nice.